good morning and a beautiful day to you. After a great night's rest in a comfy bed in my quiet part of the city, it is time to head to Prague's most touristy hotspot, the Old Town, where we will try and find the Church of Our Lady before Tin, Old Town Square, Powder Gate, Charles Bridge, and whatever else we can encounter on the way. First though, I have to find the right tram and go in the right direction. Welcome to the Old Town Square. This is the heart of the city of Prague. Started as a small village and as it grew in importance and size, so did the square and the city and the buildings around it. Now the main square, apart from being a big statue in the middle, is dominated by two significant buildings. The Old Town Hall, which you can see there, and over this side, the Lady of our the, lady, the Church of Our Lady Awaiting Tin, right behind us there. And there is a lot going on in this square. Um, as you can see, it's one of the busiest areas, uh, tourist areas you will find in the city. And it's got all the tourist trappings to go with it, but it's still an amazing historic place. That is why it's so um, busy. Look at all these beautiful buildings. You could easily spend a day here wandering around, admiring the buildings, both on the inside and the outside. Uh, there's lots of cafes and restaurants lining around the square uh, and down the side streets. Probably expect them to be a bit more expensive than your average place and, and just look out for scams and things. Um, but it's an amazing place to be. Hundreds of years of history have taken place right here. Let's have a look around. Thank you. 
long. Well, after enjoying the fascinating, if very crowded, Old Town Square and its surroundings, I'm now making my way back towards the river to look at Prague's most famous bridge, the Charles Bridge. It crosses the Vatava River, connecting Old Town to Little Town. I think that's right. Um, but I'm just going to make my way there through all the crowds and let's have a look at Charles Bridge. Named after Charles IV, who commissioned the bridge in 1357, this impressive bridge connects the old town on this side with the little quarter over that side on the river. It is lined with statues of the saints and has an impressive Gothic tower at either end. It was built to be four carriages wide, but thankfully now it's pedestrianised as it's a big tourist attraction here. It is so busy, but let me take you and show you around. Now that was beautiful and it's getting cold now. So I'm gonna head back into the old town, have a look at the buildings lit up at night and get myself a hot drink.